Human trafficking is what I chose to discuss about. My research question is the audience will learn of the magnitude of human trafficking issues within our area and ways to help change our problems. The audience needs to know who can help make a change. I think law enforcement will be a huge part of it, um, both local and state. I think they need to be a part of this because they have more access to the statistics of the community and that we, the people, would not have. Uh, we really need their help mainly because they can create task forces that will provide much more protection for schools and lower income neighborhoods, which are more targeted to be victimized. Um, the government needs to be a huge part of this change as well. Um, they have a more understanding of this crime and they would be the next help for our community because they can provide planning and funding so that we can get the best possible resources. Um, and lastly, I think the school system needs to be a huge part of this because um, they really need to participate in this. They need to understand it's an issue and they need to educate everyone on this. I think that they should create programs that will help inform the students of the dangers um, so that they can seek help if they are being victimized or possibly being victimized in the future. I read about a article that was involving a gymnastics coach. His name was John Getter, and he was charged with human trafficking. Um, along with that, he was involving many of the kids that he was training with him. Um, I think this is really important to talk about because as a person who was in sports and who did have coaches, um, you put a lot of trust in these people. There's someone you look up to, a role model, but this man exploited children for money and um, I thought that was really horrible but it was very good for me to understand for this project in the future. I got a lot of my information from the Polaris project. Um, it gave me lots of information on both human and sex trafficking and it gave me statistics and all this stuff so that I could understand better. Um, I read that about 25 million people were trafficked worldwide. In 2019, there were statistics that were released that between the ages 15 and 17 are most likely to be trafficked, and I assume that this would be because they are underage. Um, it also really helped me to um, educate myself so that I could educate others about how huge and cruel this crime is, and it needs to be changed immediately. I think there should be relief programs and governments being involved. Um, the FBI should be involved in this. They released that there was a 2000 Trafficking Victims Protection Act, the TVPA, which was actually the first official law that addressed human trafficking. And by releasing this, this was very huge um, because it made it that you could actually go for this crime and try to find it and try to end it. Um, this also allowed more for the FBI to investigate these crimes. In some cases, the FBI does make the traffickers pay restitution to the families or the person who was being victim, victimized. Um, UNICEF is also a huge part of this. This is a program and organization that's already been in place, and it helps with issues worldwide. UNICEF is um, known for having provide protection, especially to vulnerable children and families. Um, I think that this was really important to have because they will support you through local communities and social work and they can try to put you back on your feet. And for my work cited, I have for the FBI's website, um, I have the Polaris Project's website, I have UNICEF and the document or article about the gymnast coach who was involved in human trafficking.